guys, welcome back to another episode of Dimitra's Dishes. Today I'm going to teach you how to make Greek style chicken gyro bowls. It's going to be deliciously marinated chicken. I'm using boneless chicken, boneless skinless chicken thigh meat today because that is my absolute favorite. It's inexpensive, it stays juicy when you cook it, and it holds on to marinade perfectly. You just cannot beat it. But of course, if you want to stay a little bit more lean, you can go ahead and substitute the chicken for some chicken breast. That's fine too. We're going to marinate it with some Greek spices. We're going to cook it perfectly until it's nice and juicy and tender. Then we're going to slice it and put it over some salad. Perfect if you're on a low carb diet or you want a nice light lunch or light dinner. Perfect to make a big batch of because you can take it with you to work for days or send it with the kids to school, put it in sandwiches or serve it over salad. So delicious, as usual. Let's go over the ingredients so we can start making them. So for the bowl part of it, we're going to need some tzatziki, and I'll put the link down below where you can get my recipe. I have some pita bread slices if you want that, if you can leave it out if you're going low carb. Then for the salad bowl, I have some salad greens, chopped tomatoes, chopped cucumber. You can even throw in some finely chopped onion if you'd like. Now the marinade. The spices include some salt, lots of dried oregano, dried cumin, sweet paprika, this is not the smoke kind, some black pepper, crushed red pepper flakes, and coriander. Then we're going to need some olive oil, fresh lemon juice, and three large garlic cloves. And of course we're going to need two pounds of boneless skinless chicken thigh meat. I'm going to add a quarter cup of olive oil to the chicken, and a quarter cup of freshly squeezed lemon juice. Then I'm going to grate the garlic cloves. Then we're just going to mix up all of the spices together and then just pour them on top or sprinkle them on top. Give everything a nice mix so that way the chicken is coated with all of these spices and salt and that way it gets seasoned evenly. Now there's so much flavor in this chicken as is because of all of the seasonings and the spices that you can cook it straight away. But if you have some patience and if you plan ahead a little bit, you can marinate this overnight or at least for an hour and it's going to be even more flavorful than, as, than if you were to cook it right away. So plan ahead and make it. But again, if you were in a hurry, you can definitely cook it as is right now. I am going to cover it and put it in my refrigerator and let it marinate for a little bit and then we're going to move on to cooking it. So I have another batch that I've had marinating. I do make so many batches of this every week because we take it with us to work and the kids take it with them to school. Once you try it, you're going to have it on hand all the time. It's just so simple to put together. Now you can cook this in a few different ways. You can take the whole thing as is, fire up a grill and heat it up over medium high heat. Put all, spread all the chicken on top of the grill evenly and let it cook about 7-8 minutes on each side or until the internal temperature reaches 165 degrees Fahrenheit. So grilled tastes absolutely delicious and it's so simple and easy because your house stays clean and you don't get any smoky smell or anything like that in it. But today I'm going to teach you how to make it using your oven. I like to broil it. So you're going to want to make sure that your oven is set to the broil setting and then the rack is at the highest at the highest level that it can go on so that way it's the chicken stays very close to the heating element. Then you're going to want to have a baking tray with a cooling rack on top and you're going to spread all the chicken on top of the cooling rack. I have tried cooking it directly onto a baking tray but what happens is the chicken releases its juices and then instead of getting nice and crisp and juicy it has to cook longer because it kind of stays really wet which you don't want and then it doesn't stay as juicy it toughens up at the end so putting it on the cooling rack makes all of the chicken's juices drip down to the bottom and then the chicken all of the marinade stays on top and it stays really nice and juicy in the end you don't want to skip that step I'm going to put everything on here then I'm going to broil it for about 18 to 20 minutes halfway through cooking I'm going to go in and I'm going to flip the chicken around and as soon as it's ready I'm going to show you what it looks like once the chicken is ready take it out of the oven and let it rest at room temperature for at least 10 minutes before you go ahead and slice it. At this point, the chicken should have developed some beautiful color on top. Even some dark, crispy bits here and there should be present on top of the chicken. It's just going to be so flavorful and delicious. Then go ahead and slice it into, into strips. You could also sprinkle some feta cheese on top of your salad. Put the chicken strips on top of the salad. Put a, a big huge spoonful of tzatziki on the side and go ahead and take a bite. Let me take a bite because I cannot wait. Mmm, so juicy, so flavorful. And over the salad, it's so refreshing and light. The perfect meal any time of the day. Head on over to the website www.demetriusdishes.com 
print out this recipe. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. And stay tuned because the next recipe that's coming up is my chicken shawarma recipe. You do not want to miss that one. Thank you guys so much for spending time with me today. I will see you all next time. Yes, us.